I think so. Um, okay, so the so the twenty twenty, um, the twenty twenty um, the twenty twenty destiny is going to um, my my goal is going to be to acknowledge the descriptive claims that some extreme people on the right make. So for instance, that people feel economically disheartened, that blah, 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 blah. And then to try to channel these into more positive directions. Um, I've noticed in the past that like, typically what I do is I usually play contrary to any cases. It's very easy to criticize insane positions and I'll do it all day. I can do it like sitting there and shitting on people's positions. Uh, but I think instead, um, Instead of just refuting another person's point, just say you um, love me. I think my goal is to build more positive positions. So, like, what does it mean to be an American? You know, like, well, these people embody these values. These people, like, I think trying to build positive positions to give somebody to latch on, to give people something to latch onto after a conversation, rather than just saying, "By the way, all your ideas are shit." You go here, 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 here. Feel bad, dumbass, and then walking away. I think giving somebody more to like, giving somebody like, um, like, a, what do you call it when you give someone a not a rope when you give that sounds bad um when you give somebody something to grab onto um and, and kind of like hold on to i think is better um because i think it speaks to a lot of the people in that crowd throwing a bone oh an olive branch yeah extending an olive branch and acknowledging like hey like i agree with this i agree with that i agree with that you're right dude hyper capitalism is cancer um the destruction of the community is cancer the destruction of, like i think agreeing on those points and then moving into a more positive way to redirect that frustration um, is more beneficial than just outright denying their struggles because these struggles are very real and sometimes we like to say um, three years three cheers ye, ye, ye. sometimes we like to say that like okay come on like i've even made these arguments like okay america is not this economically destitute place like a lot of people are making it out to be right well that perception exists destiny love your um, work keep it up and if the perception exists then we need to talk about why that perception exists and how to address it you know Um, but doesn't that make him feel like he's winning or worse his fans thinks he's winning there were a few moments in this debate where I really don't feel like he could have thought that he was winning I could be wrong so like if you're somebody that's really bought into my side and you think that like you just want to watch me dunk on someone over and over again then I think that these kinds of debates will look weaker to you than the ones I did in the past where it was just like this is dumb as fuck like this is stupid you're an idiot how do you think this this does this or whatever like I think that this debate will look weaker to you but I think if you're somebody in the middle um, I think that times where I can come out and be like hey this is an issue that you have I totally fucking get this and you're right when you say this is an issue but I don't think we need to make it about white people to solve it. I think that those types of arguments are way more persuasive to people in the middle and then that people that aren't as extreme Thanks in both camps. for all your hard work. Um, then saying, um, then, then they're just trying to like refute somebody's argument over and over and over and over and over again, you know? Why do you want to appeal to moderates like this? Um, because I'm trying more rhetorical strategies because I feel bad watching. I can do rhetoric. It's, it's, it's not always as fun for me, uh, but I can do rhetoric. I think I can do it pretty well. I think I can be pretty persuasive. I just normally don't. But the one when I watch people like Fuentes do rhetoric very well in an unopposed manner, and then I look at how lefties that are fucking brain dead online do rhetoric, um, it bothers the fuck out of me. And I would rather be like, um, Mike for me not got doxxed in this debate. Um, I would rather like be presenting myself like I, I feel as shitty as it is. I feel like I have some responsibility to like the public discourse to be like a positive rhetorical force for my brand of politics if no one else can do it in an effective manner. Um, so I feel like I'm going to try playing a little bit more of a rhetorically powerful side rather than just looking to shit on people that disagree with me. Um, yeah, I think that's my, I think that's kind of my goal. Because, like, again, like, we can tear down positions all day, and especially with these people. It's very easy to do so. Um, but I think that building a positive that somebody can latch onto afterwards is going to be more rhetorically effective than just showing people how stupid somebody else is in their positions. I think that another reason why I want to do that is because um, I looked at how I engaged with um, conservatives over the past five years, um, I, I feel like I've engaged with the conservatives the past five years. I feel like I've shuffled a lot of people from one extreme camp to the other. Um, like Contra said, I don't like the idea that I've taken a lot of alt writers and now I've moved them into like fucking communism and socialism. Like that was never my goal, you know? My goal was just like, hey, like, well, let's think a little bit, you know? Just like use your brain a little. Let's make sure that we're talking about empirical fact that's real, not inventing conspiracy or crazy shit. And then let's find like good positions starting Hype from that Hype train, point. OMG, um, everybody sub now, pog, OMG, wow. Thanks. Yeah, that's kind of my goal rather than um, rather than just like Destiny, up you need a haircut, you degenerate. JK, great job tonight.
Do you think it's still responsible to still engage with the Jewish question because I fear that the same argument of conspiracies hold no weight is not convincing enough for people anymore. Um, wait, what? Fuck, I didn't hear that all and I don't see the... I don't know. Um. Hi, poo. Hi, train. Hi, help. But, yeah. Okay. Love you. I think all the I think a lot of the points you made against lefties can improve too. Why not go that route rather than saying you're fucking dumb? Because I don't care about lefties. Because fuck them. They're gonna go around a ditch somewhere. I don't care. Um. Do you think it's still responsible to engage with the Jewish question? Because I don't like to do that. I didn't know we were going to do that. I thought we were staying away from all the Jewish question, um, historical revisionist shit. Um, like, yeah, I, that might be something that I invest more time into. Um, like, I'm going to, um, I'll, I'll try to find like a little bit of like some slam dunk arguments to just get the fuck out of that JQ shit. Um, because it seems to be pretty dumb. Yeah. Guess we are subbing now. Where are my snaps? There you go. Um. When he wasn't talking about the JQ, he was basically agreeing with most of what you were saying. Yeah, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Like, I want to find, like, descriptive Squad common ground. W. And then I want to diverge on a prescriptive point. Because I feel like if I can find, uh, to, real quick, the difference between description and prescription is that description is... Um, Level 3 pog. Description is when you just describe a reality, and prescription is when you tell people what they ought to do, right? Um, Shut up and play league. I want to find like descriptive common ground so that they understand that I understand their plight. And then I want to offer an alternative to like white nationalism is basically what I'm looking at. Yeah. I would absolutely love a foundational teardown of the JQ. You can't really do a foundational teardown of any conspiracy theory because conspiracy theories are always self justifying Why is having a low They'll birth always rate have, is bad? Um, because people want more white people. Um, Conspiracy theories always have reasons why they can't be justified or why some source is I bad. I think like, you're going to need to start heavily researching this Jewish shit because I think it's the final linchpin for a lot of these new age conservatives and coomers and you, zoomers. You can't you can't debunk like and a all question this like shit. that. It's kind of like similar. It's similar to how like lefties believe that the U.S. conspiracy is going to lie about everything related to Bolivia or Venezuela or Iran. Like it's just I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not as interested in dealing. I'll probably find like a few slam dunk arguments and then just fuck off from it. I just don't want to talk about destiny. The JQ you bonded a lot. really well with the Nazis. Glad you are trying to get people to the center so they can go back to the right. Um Yeah, oh, um this uh gifted five subs. Thanks. Zizu. Chat type wow we now if you don't type wow we I will die. Please type wow we. Um Okay. It's for the hype train in your ignored Twitch chat. What is a hype train? Uh, uh, thanks for hype training. Oh, wait, there is a hype train thing. What the fuck is this? Level four hype train. Wait, what happens if I sub, gift, or use bits to get to the next level? Oh, there's like a real, there's like an actual train now. Choo choo. It started yesterday. Well, wait, what do we get? Completing level four requires combined support. Events totaling 30, 217. Hype conductors. Current hype trains to stop supporters. Is this around an you can earn one emote per train by subbing, gifting, or using more than 100 bits in total during the event. Exclusive emotes are given out at the end of the hype train event and will be available to use until they are refreshed with a new... What? Oh, well, well hey, guys. Hype over 9,000. I love you, buddy. Okay, there you go. 
I still think um, sometimes you need to take an aggressive stance and destroy some opinions. After all, it was Nebraska Steve that swayed the most people into your camp. Yeah, but the problem was is that a lot of the people that I swayed into my camp, I didn't really do that. I just moved them from one extreme to another extreme. I didn't actually create His a group of people. His eyes lit up when he um, learned you said the N-word. Yeah. I didn't actually get like a ton of people that were in favor of like critical thinking. I just got a lot of people that turned into fucking commies, right? Like I wouldn't consider myself successful for moving people from the alt-right to Chapo Trap House or Bread Tube. Wow, good job, guys. We made it to the the sub train. We got to the next level. Hype. E. Pog, pog, pog. This feels so commercial. Holy shit. Level four complete. Wait, what's next? Hold on. How many levels of hype dragon are there? <laughs> oh my god. Any poggers in chat, guys? Um, Level 5 Pog. Don't you think that conceding the descriptive claims is dangerous considering that's all that's left for listeners to do is take a step? To no, I don't think so. I think that, like, I think that conceding a descriptive claim, because a lot of these descriptive claims are true. People do feel isolated. I think that instead of rejecting that feeling, acknowledging it, and then providing an alternative, rather than just saying, like, no, there are no Steven. white people that feel attacked. Like, well, if you say that, you've instantaneously lost so many people. Like, well, hold on, I'm white. I feel attacked, right? You have to be able to speak to those people. I think people on the right are really effective at speaking to people that feel like they have problems, and people on the left aren't. I think we could see this a lot. Um, is emblemic a word? Embe emblemic? Emblematic. Fuck, I fucked that word up. I think I said, I tried to say that word. Um, emblematic. Um, I think um, the 2016 election was emblematic of this in some ways. When Trump went around saying, make America great again, and Hillary said, America's already great. Well, everybody that felt like America wasn't great, Hillary lost those people instantly. They were like, oh, fuck that. I don't feel that way. Get the fuck out of here, you know? Um, yeah. Um, this isn't to say that I'm going to, like, cuck out hardcore on like every single debate. Like there will be some where I'll be more aggressive than others, but I am gonna try to be more positive, Hi. like building positive cases and to be more rhetorically focused going forward. That's something I wanna try this year. We'll see how I feel about it. There's probably gonna be some people that I'm just sick of that I'm just gonna fucking dumpster. Um, Steven. Like Sargon, if I do get a debate with him, I'm just gonna be real fucking hard on him because I fuck that guy. Um, but like, yeah, but especially for some of the alt writers, I'm gonna try, because a lot of the people that yeah. follow these more extremist movements, they're not like these hateful, evil, fucking terrorists people a lot of them are just like young guys that feel like really lost they don't really have a community that they're a part of they don't feel like they have a group that they belong to and they're just looking for purpose and you know somebody shows up like a white nationalist and gives it to them um so it'd be nice to provide like an alternative for those types of people you're not wrong you know this is something that i tell people this is really important to understand in relationships a feeling that you have is never wrong even if like the reasons why you don't understand clearly or whatever, if you feel a thing, that feeling is never wrong. You know, you have to investigate why you feel that way. And if somebody's gonna speak to your feelings and somebody else isn't, well, you're gonna listen to the person that does more than the person that doesn't, always. You have to be careful that these people look good on your platform again or honest because of you. I don't necessarily think that like in this conversation, Choo -choo. I made him look good. I don't think so. Um, <clears throat> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll work on it more. H -Y -P -E 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 -E. We'll work on it more. Like, you have to consider that, like, Enoch has a lot of fans that fucking hated me. I read a few of those threads that went up on poll. Um, a lot of people that were fans of Enoch fucking hated me and saw that I was a horrible fucking cuck. So it looks really weird when a guy that you champion, like Enoch, starts agreeing with me on a lot of things. I think that it takes a lot of power away from the positions that those people have. When there's like, okay, fuck. Like, Enoch was supposed to come here and shit on Destiny in every position, but he like agreed with half the shit he said. What the fuck, Mike? Like, what are you doing? Like, do you disagree with then the positions that Mike agreed with me on? Or are you forced to like, okay, well, Destiny understands some things, I guess, but he's still a huge fucking cuck when it comes to JQ shit. Or like, at least it gets them to some extent. Like, a lot of Mike's fans, so like, you might look at it in a way like you agreed with half the shit Mike said. Well, for a lot of Mike's fans, they agreed with half the shit that I said, right? They have to, they must, right? Because we have the description on the ground there. Yeah. Hypey. Wow. Pog, 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 pog. Oh my God, guys. We made another. Oh, more people are getting these jobs. Oh my God. Ert immixed. Gifted five or six subs. Good job, dude. I think I gifted more subs earlier as well, and I think I missed them. Oh, Destrani th three hours ago gifted five subs. Even rhetorically, if you're the one to get him to agree to the normative claims before he does to you, it makes you look so much better. Agree. 
Uh, it, oh, get him to agree to my like prescriptive claims? That's hard. But I was able to get him to agree to some. Like when I start to get him off of the race, everybody's like, yeah, sure. Like I don't think the race stuff is the only stuff that's important. There's other stuff we have to do too. That's a big plus for me. It's like, okay, cool. We're like 90% of the way there. Like just drop the white shit, you know? Like get, just get rid of like the white cultural homogenous shit. And then we're like agreeing on most things, right? Yeah. Choo choo. They'll just interpret it as Enoch won because Destiny conceded all the positions, but I didn't concede anything. I didn't concede a position. I never needed to concede a descriptive reality because I acknowledge those exist, right? I'm not conceding any of my points, I don't think. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Did you agree not to look at data on the go? Yeah, I told him that he said in the beginning that he didn't want to, like, hammer home, like, polls and shit. And I said, okay, fine, we don't have to focus on that. Because I felt more comfortable, like, we can have, like, a qualitative or, like, a more uh, philosophical argument. Hype, C-O-G-G-E-R-S. You're giving them too much credit in assuming they'll necessarily revalue their own positions. It's more like they'll assume you're closer to their positions and either need red pilling or being controlled by Jewish interests. I don't agree, so I don't think those people think that I'm like really close to getting like JQ pilled or whatever. Yeah, we'll see. Capitalism pog. Wait, okay, the hype train is over. Oh, we chewed, chewed all the way into level six or whatever. What do you look at to see how your debates go? I usually try to read forums that are friendly to the opposition, and then I try to read forums that are friendly to me, and then I try to find somewhat neutral grounds to see what people are saying. Um, so, for instance, like, um, I'll try to read, like, 4chan threads that post about the debate to look at the aftermath to see what they're saying there, to see if there's any, like, man, I thought Mike would do better here. Level Fuck, why did Mike cock out so hype train um, Like, I'll try to look for comments like that. I look at my own comments on my own YouTube to see how my own fans feel about it. And then I'll try to look at places like, um, like, Kiwi Farms or Reddit threads posted in, like, conservative areas or whatever to see what people are generally saying. Like, I try to, like, am amass enough information that I can get, like, a general overview of, like, how do I feel like this conversation went. Destiny, I think you should forward pres um, specific prescriptions as solutions and also give reasons why exclusion based on whiteness is bad. Maybe something about how people, how you trade in a unique individual identity for the security of whiteness. Yeah, sure, maybe, yeah. I wish we could have talked more about how th he initially posed that that question. I don't know if this felt like, I feel like this could have been a bigger slam dunk, but I felt like it helped a little bit when he was saying like, this crazy lady said that white people are killing themselves and they need to get rid of their whiteness. And then he went on to describe Poggers. white people feel like they're under attack, so they're killing themselves. And it's like, it sounds like you're making her argument, my dude. Like, it sounds like you just literally put forth that argument. Not saying I agree or disagree with it, but like, I don't know. I think that like, I could have capitalized on that a little bit more, I think. But like, he, he moved around a lot. Um, I wasn't taking as many notes in this conversation. I should have been taking more because um, he was doing the thing a lot where he spoke like six or seven sentences and I only got to respond to one or two things. That was the worst thing I did this conversation. Um, when people talk a lot, I need to write down a lot so that I can respond to everything. I didn't do that as effectively. Steven, listen, you told us to remind you about the composition challenge. Oh, Please I remember. Please don't forget. I remember Bonus meme. I got into the banner lord bait to angel thump. Did you feel like he ran out of steam after about 30 minutes? Yeah, I think that when, when your opponent is willing to come to the middle on some things, but still disagree with you on other things, I think that um, I think it takes a lot out of your sales. Like, I'm sure that he was planning on me, like, disagreeing with way more. Like, Giving being money like, um, to someone significantly wealthier than me. H-Y-Y-Y-P-E-E-E-E. -E -E -E. Amen, brother. Um, I think that, like... Um, I think it becomes a lot harder to attack my positions if I'm willing to acknowledge some of the descriptive realities. And then hopefully it makes your prescriptions look worse, is the goal, yeah. You just let people walk all over you. I don't know a solution, but you stop talking as soon as I interrupted him a few times. He definitely interrupted me more. I'm trying not to sound as combative in this conversation. My goal of this debate wasn't like a dunking own own fest where I'm screaming over him. Like I might do that with like Stargun or somebody, um, but like I, my goal here wasn't to just scream him down or like fuck him out of the conversation or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I love how Twitch always finds a way to sanitize cool unofficial community memes into another. Payday for Twitch hype train choo choo. What will you give us if we reach level 10? Wowie pants. Wow. Chain train.
Can I get some poggers in the chat, you slumlords lol xdee? Um... What do I say to my heteronormative friend who says we haven't changed that much since the dawn of civilization? Wait, for real, why did you not address his position of being a half-Serbian Nazi? Um, I'm trying not to make it as personal. Thank you for whatever that just was. What was that noise? Fuck. I'm missing so much shit. What was that thing? 2,000 bits. I really wish you would push back on anti-degenerate. I don't want to go into like, we would have to go into like weird like moral arguments. Um, and I didn't want to take the conversation there. Kiete gifted a sub, that it mitz guy gifted five subs. IDK America, man, America. I think these guys are more influenced by who is more alpha in the debate. The only respect aggression. Not all the time, but I mean, like I said, we'll see going forward. I love you. That's a lot, but okay. What I learned tonight. The Southeast Asians are trying to kill millions of whites in Africa. Sixteen months, wowie. Let's get some yowie wowies in the chat, boys. Three, two, one, yowie wowie. Yowie wowie. Time to run a train on it, Destiny. Um, do you want to convince your opponent by being more friendly and agreeing on stuff? If you're trying to convince the audience, the fear of being the one getting dunked on is a huge reason why people change their minds so that the make your opponent look stupid approach be rhetorical and more effective. Um, it's just, I think there are different combinations of strategies that can work in different scenarios. Um, I think that a lot of these guys, like, um, if we, I don't want to get too personal, but like, I think that Mike's story is like a really good story. Um, and having like a personal conversation about his backstory would be super interesting. Like he has like all the makings of like a future white nationalist. Like he grew up, like he had horrible eczema. He had horrible asthma. Like, all the pictures of him growing up show him like red in the face, like hunched over gasping for breath. Like he had a really hard time in his childhood. He didn't make many friends growing up. He spent a lot of time isolated on the internet, arguing with people, fighting over people. He got famous on the internet for debating everybody and taking like the most absurd positions he could. You know, like his whole family has disowned him for his positions. He fell in love with and married like a woman that was Jewish. Uh, like, and, and then later on, like changed his beliefs so much that like, you know, they broke up over it. Like, I think that like yeah. his story is like one that you, like you can be like really empathetic towards. And it's, it's probably like symbolic of a lot of other people's stories as well. Growing up feeling like you're kind of fucked by society. Um, it's not surprising to me that somebody like that would have the positions that he does. Like, now he's found himself in a community where he's respected, where people see him as a leader. Like, he found, like, an identity to gather around, and, like, it's important to him. And Imagine wasting your 45th presidential month on a bad message. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I don't know. I think that, I think it's important to be able to speak to people like that, which I'll try more to. I feel like I We're back on that. track, boys. Twitch, yeah. chat, and unite. How do you give purpose to individuals who lack a feeling of purpose in the modern world? What do you think of Jordan Peterson's attempts at course correcting these lost people? Um, I don't know. That's a hard one. I have to think about that more. And I'm going to do more of that over the next couple months. Like, it's like being more positive. Give him a man of, a fish yeah. and you feed him for a day. Make a man a fish and you see them swim away. Also, when is your political podcast starting? Do you think this debate taught you how much um, ex-alt writers became communists? Getting over it. Composition challenge. Swearing off relationships. Weasley little liar. Still lying. It seems so easy for people on the internet to get radicalized in either direction. Yeah, a lot of people have missed that like people on the alt-right don't really care about capitalism Steven, much. For sure. Steven. 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 
Holy shit complete topic change do you still think Billy Harrington gotchy emotes are homophobic? I don't know dude. Wowie. Oh. Wow, Coke man Co wait, Coke Gaming gifted ten subs. Thanks, bud. Y E R R Parameter Hamster New Twitch Take Over Coming One Year Wild Hi O M G Wowie Okay, chill, have commercials. Let me serve my can I say Jewish overlords? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Holy shit. I feel pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. Damn, hold on. I'm just going over some of these older threads. This all caps. Dude, what? It's hard to say because I wish you guys wouldn't Are post Are you going these. on Train's um, podcast tonight? Maybe. I don't know. Um, Because it's hard to tell because I know sometimes you guys shit up these threads. It's hard to find out which comments are yours um, versus which ones are just like actual like 4chaners or poll posters or whatever. It's interesting reading the comments though. Destiny talks eighty percent of the time. Good one. I would really, I would really like to challenge someone on. Um, I know that some people make it a meme when somebody is like, "Hey, like food and music is culture, or whatever." Like, and then be like, "Oh yeah, like I want like tacos and that." Like, food and music are, are literally some of the largest aspects of of culture. Like, I don't know if people are aware of that or not. Like, you eat food three times a day. Like, food is a pretty big part of your life. Music is also like a really big part of your life. Like, people go to concerts. There's music that plays in every movie you watch. There's music that's playing in the car when you're driving. Like, these are all like pretty fucking huge parts of your life. To just be like, LOL, no music, and who cares about food? I don't know, man. Those are pretty big sacrifices to make. Um, like, yeah, I don't know. I think that's kind of funny. I think it would be um. I think it's interesting when people like try to just like dis discard that. Like, oh, I don't care about that. Like, okay. The argument against it is that you don't need the people imported to make the food. I miss the debate. Re any good memes? Yeah, but the problem is like a lot of that cultural fusion happens because you get different types of people in the same area together creating together, right? Like, I don't know if we get, you know, like fusions between like African, you know, chants and in the fucking uh in the slave fields i don't know if we get that fusion with classical music and then make like early jazz i don't know if we get that if all the africans just stayed in africa i don't know if they'll import you know like european music and play it, you know but, like people together make things together that maybe they wouldn't have when they're apart you know all memes aside i think one strength of yours is giving people the rope to hang themselves keep being generous on what you let people say so that they disprove their own arguments mm -hmm. Sure. I noticed Mike said, okay, sure, every backpedal. Yeah, I think I had, like, two parts where I got Mike to, like, hardcore, like, agree on something and, like, just back off. So one was not important. Like, the whole judicial branch has power over everything was a pretty dumb argument. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Some of these people are so mad. Holy fuck, Enoch is such a fucking brainlet for agreeing so much with Destiny's position. They need to bring on Fuentes to stop the fucking manlet. Mike's too nice in this debate. He doesn't like to debate and get aggressive. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you guys so much, but I'm so fucking hungry. I have to go get food. Um, any final questions or whatever? Can you try and dunk on the Jewish question? I Maybe I might do some JQ shit later. We'll see. Um... Well, I, but like, it's just like, it's such a niche argument. It's like race realism. We spent so much time on that. Like, oh God. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think you should. That's literally the main alt right meme. Yeah, but like, I don't know. We'll see. Um, what do shampoo drinkers mean? What does that mean? Is that like a Jewish thing? Do Jewish people drink? Or does shampoo, like, I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, he said that about Native Americans that they drink shampoo. You need to rewatch this part. This is messed up. What? You bring up a YouTube video of like an LGBT march. It's, it's not full of Hispanic uh, yeah, and black people. It's full of white kids. Like, I mean, you'd also be seeing you'd be seeing white people of a particular class and probably coming from particular parts of the country. I don't. I don't know that. I, I mean, again, I would actually dispute the fact that that is what most white people think, and I don't care because I think the white people. What? This is true. In the United States Hispanic people and African Americans tend to be a bit more culturally conservative than white people. That's true. That's absolutely true. 
So if you're looking for people as a white nationalist to be more on board with your like regressive degenerate behaviors, you'd probably look to like Hispanic communities or African American communities to be allied with you more than like random white communities. Like now that part, keep watching. What? Align with that kind of culture? I don't like them very much. I don't really want to do them. Wait, hold on. What? I don't. I don't know that. I would actually dispute the fact that people of a particular class and probably coming from particular parts of the country. I don't. I don't know that. Cool. I have a three-month message for you, Destiny. There it was. Cool. Black people, let's follow white kids. Like, I mean, also be seeing, you'd be seeing white people of a particular class and probably coming from particular parts of the country. I don't, I don't know that. I, mean, yeah, I would actually dispute the fact that that is what most white people think, and I don't care because I think the white people that align with that kind of culture, I don't like them very much. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to be. You think about a YouTube video like an LG? Oh, I don't know exactly what I was agreeing with here. That there are different types of people, or whatever. I, I don't remember what I wanted to say, but okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> um, interests. Like, how many of them were Jews? Well, well, you know what? I'll, I mean, we could, we could, we could, we could. So the Jewish question is a whole, a whole.